Elon said he's open to uh, outsourcing, I mean, to licensing autopilot, obviously you're not building an autonomous platform. So I assume that's part of the, the, the pie. You have a, an app on your phone, uh, essentially maybe we get autonomous software on this kind of thing. Yeah, we, we're, you know, so, so again, we've been, we've been capitalized to solve a very narrow set of the problem. And, and, and that's really, I, I like solving problems that other people aren't presently working on, you know? So, so the problem that we saw was the, the sort of right size platform for everyday trips. Um, but we're definitely building it with an eye to autonomy. We're not going to uh, at least presently have no plans to do the sensor and software stack, but right. we're building the basic platform to be able to accept steering commands and driving commands and braking commands um, so that you know anybody's self-driving software stack uh, can sit on top of it. And that's really where we see ourselves fitting into that ecosystem is being you know, the, the basic vehicle platform. And I think there's there's so much cool stuff that right. Tesla is doing that would be very complementary. Right. Uh, the, the battery cells that they've that they've been developing are just awesome. Um, autopilot, uh, the, the charging network that they've built out. Uh, you know, I, I think there are a lot of ways that we could be very- I don't think they're selling those cells though. I don't think they're gonna give those away. Sweet, sweet cells. Come on, come on, Elon. I don't think so. I think Elon's keeping all those. He's going to give you those LG chems. Um, and that goes to my, 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 my biggest question. And I talk about this now on every interview because I learned this from Elon and I believe this 100%. The biggest challenge for EV production in the future is a lack of supply of cells. The biggest challenge is going to be every company wanting to build EVs and needing battery packs. So how do you solve that problem moving forward? Well, well, I think I think one of the there are probably two pieces of that you know one is that that uh, the fact that Tesla is taking this on as you know sort of a uh, a moonshot challenge that that it looks like they're going to get into mass production in 2021 that is going to have a, a ripple effect throughout the rest of the industry, right? So so if you know and and I guess the argument to uh, you know to Tesla to to anybody is that when you, when you put your cells inside of an Arkimoto, you are solving four times the number of daily trips where, you know, that same amount of cells can power four Arkimotos that power. Right, the right. And so if, if the shared mission is catalyzing the shift to sustainable transportation, if you wanna make that equation, that reaction go faster, then putting, putting those cells into lighter weight, ultra efficient vehicles is is totally on on plan. Uh, Who are you sourcing from now? Uh, we we source presently from uh, a company called Ferrisys. Uh, mm -hmm. They're a, it's a Bay Area battery company with gigafactories now in China. They've uh, broken ground in Europe and they've got one uh, planned for the United States. Um, they make a super awesome pouch cell mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that it's the same one that's in the Zero motorcycle. Um, so and and. You know, I think what what Tesla's work is going to do is inspire everyone um, to move faster on that front. I agree. Well, especially uh, in battery. I mean, we're putting a lot of money there now. The capital's going there because we know that that's the biggest part of the chain that needs to be filled. I also think there's going to be a lot of churn in. My guess is that there's going to be a lot of churn in the market as automakers some do and some don't hit their targets on sales. Totally agree. And, and so you've got all the you've got battery companies that are ramping up scale of production. Ultimately, to actually get those to the market, they got to go inside something. And so what we're focused on is making sure that we have a very robust platform that requires as little energy as possible to solve daily trips, and then make sure that we've got the sales pipeline that brings that into the marketplace. Well, I think it also argues for your timeline too, because I think getting into production now and ramping now you're years ahead of some of these competitors. And yep. so you're going to be a priority. Like every day counts right now in the EV race, you know? And so like, I think a lot of these competitors are still two years behind. So, you know, that gives you an advantage. And, and I look at a lot of the companies going after electric cars and I just, I, to me, it feels like they're going to run face first into Tesla. Um, where, I, which, I agree hundred percent, but I, I still think the demand is there. So if you go to a Ford dealership and there's a, an electric Ford and the regular Ford. I think people want those electric cars. 